Welcome back. You're still tuned into XM. We're coming to you live from our observatory studios. We call this part of the show In My Hood. And what's happening in our hood this weekend is the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Now, I know there's been months and months of preparation going into this event, so I'm excited to see you cross that finish line first. And of course, today we are joined by some very special guests who will be taking part um, in the Cape Town Cycle Tour. We chat to Warrior on Wheels Foundation, whose cyclists will be taking part um, this year. How exciting is that? It's, oh, that is a new, <laughs> it's a game changer. <laughs> Can you guys please give us a brief history um, about the organization? Sure, yeah, I mean, you say you're very excited, we're very excited, we're very excited <laughs> about, the, about the cycle tour, but we're also very excited about our foundation. We launched about a year ago, year ago in, in, in partnership with the Verdi Hotels, um, and it's, it's been a great year. What, what we're all about is really partnering with the tourism, tourism sector in Cape Town, and we're about taking kids, differently abled kids, okay. and special needs kids, on adventures. So we take those, th th we take those kids on uh, river rafting trips, we take them zip lining, we take them horse riding, we just get them out and enjoying tourism-related adventures. Mm. Yeah. I love how you said differently abled kids instead of using the other term, um, mm. otherwise. No, no, we don't use the other term. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you guys having these kids take part in one of South Africa's biggest cycle events? Sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's really has been, and maybe Deirdre can, can pitch in here, but it really has <laughs> been <laughs> my co-founder Deirdre Gower's uh, dream. Um, Deirdre dealt with the, the cycle tour a number of years ago. It was in 2000 and? Um, it's definitely 2012 and 2013 was the first year that differently able children. Uh, sorry, 2013 was the first year that differently able children were allowed to participate in the cycle tour. Yeah, I mean, Deirdre one day decided she wanted to do the cycle tour, and of course everything she does, she does with Damien. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she approached the cycle tour, and they said, no, no, we, we unfortunately we don't have a category, we can't allow differently able children. Mm -hmm. um, and over a year, Deirdre worked with the, with the, with the cycle tour board, um, specifically with, with uh, Rene Jordan, who's, who was the race director at the time. Um, and over a year, they looked at all the safety aspects, all the various challenges that they might have to overcome. And after a year of working with them, um, it was approved, and, and they were able to cycle, uh, cycle the cycle tour and mm -hmm. uh, include differently able kids like Damien. Yeah. Um, so the buggy teams were introduced, um, and, and, we've, we've, and here we are a few years later with a number of buggies on the road. So how has it grown since the beginning of um, the foundation? You say it started in 2013. Um, Warrior on Wheels launched in December 2015. Okay. Um, we started our first adventure in February last year. We took three children ziplining. And it's grown to, we started at the beginning of this year with 27 children and their families going on a wow. boat cruise to Seal Island. So in a short space of time, we've grown very quickly and we're getting more interest and more families joining our team. I absolutely, yeah. truly appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's grown so much, mm -hmm. meaning that there is interest out there. Yes. Uh, how have you guys, how do you go in terms of your preparation, getting ready for this huge event? Because I know psych, some cyclists, they'll train like a year in advance so what do you guys do to prepare yourselves for this? yeah i think i mean there's a lot of preparation and planning to go into actually having the buggies made manufacturing design put together ready for the for the kids the kids size for them etc so there's a lot of preparation there but there's also prepar a lot of preparation for the riders mm. um you know it's not a case of the rider is just riding for himself and there's nobody behind him yeah. now the rider's got a kid behind him he's got to make sure that that kid's look kid gets looked after that he's mm. comfortable yeah. maybe Deirdre can just tell us a little bit more about um, that yes, process. Uh, along the route on race day as well, um, most of the cyclists, their times are greatly lengthened from what they're used to cycling mm -hmm. without a buggy behind them. You've got to stop to make sure the children have enough to eat and drink along the way, that they're still sitting comfortably because it's not a child they can reposition themselves mm -hmm. if they're uncomfortable. Make sure that they're not getting sunburned, that the wind is not causing a problem for them. So there's a lot for the cyclists to take into consideration and get to know the children, that they, uh, how they communicate. and understand what their needs are in the race so th yes it's it's a big thing for them and we salute the riders who are doing this for for our children definitely man no. um so please let us know how you feel about not so little damien who's <laughs> going to be returning for the fourth time i believe uh, his fifth time his fifth time <laughs> oh wow yes um he participated in the first one in 2013 and 2014, I did those first two with him myself, and now I'm not strong enough anymore. And for the last two, he's had a superhuman cyclist who's been his partner, um, Wolf Stinnes. 
and yeah, just to see the two of them together, they've got a great connection and Wolf seems to understand him well and Damien's comfortable with him. Mm -hmm. So very excited for him to enjoy another, another cycle tour. <laughs> That's that's really inspirational. I know mm. myself. Uh, one day, I, I, I dream of taking part in the cycle tour. Um, you guys said about holding the buggies. How do you go about that? Like, do you guys have funds externally, or do you guys raise funds at the events? Yeah, I mean, of course, as, as a, a non-profit organisation, we do rely on on sponsorship. We do rely on fun, funding from corporates, from companies, from from anybody that that will, is willing to to fund us. So we do largely we rely on on that on that type of thing to to, mm. to specifically the cycle tour to manufacture those buggies. Um, with the foundation taking kids on adventures, we have a lot of buy-in and support from the tourism sector. So most of our, well actually in fact all of our providers so far have really laid it on for us. It hasn't cost us a cent. Yeah. So if we want to go zip line, if we want to take a bunch of horse, uh, kids horse riding, then, then it's all laid on for us. It doesn't cost us. Um, but then of course there's also other related costs with those type of things. There's transport costs, getting the kids there, yeah. making sure that they're fed, all those type of things that, are, that do mount up. And then of course the normal administration costs. So there's always a need for funding and always yeah. a need for sponsorship. Mm. Most definitely. Um, Sounds so hectic. But I must say, this, the, the tourism sector in Cape Town has been just absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's Cape Town so Tourism cool. coming on board with the Cycle Tour, they've endorsed us, they've backed us up. Um, and from that has come a, come a lot of endorsements and support from the media, so, mm. which so has been great. How can our viewers or anyone that's watching this and a possible donor get in contact with you guys? Do you have a website, Facebook, or...? Okay, I'm going to leave that up to, to Deirdre because I get very confused about the whole social media. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's the guru. Yes, we do have a website. It's www.warrionwheels.co.za. There is a donate page with various options of donating. You can use SnapScan, direct transfers into our bank accounts, um, give and gain, do it for charity. You can, If you're doing a cycling event or a running event, you can sign up as a fundraiser and make your event count. Um, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram, it's at Warrior on Wheels Foundation, and Twitter is at Warrior on Wheels. And lots of YouTube videos on our site, lots our galleries looking beautiful, so yeah. just <laughs> encourage people to go and have a look and <laughs> see how beautiful it's looking. Just very briefly, I want to hear from Damien. How excited is he? I think he's a little bit <laughs> shy right he's now. He's smiling, I see him smiling. I'll give I'll us a yay and a high five and tell us how excited you are. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit overwhelming for you, A little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> mm, but we'll take it as he's very excited for it. Yes, well, yes. thank you so much for coming. We truly learned something, and um, we mm. truly are inspired by it. What's that, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. Come on, lift your head there. I think Can he's I a little bit mic? shy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like the mic? No. <laughs> he's a little bit shy. Yeah, it shy. comes with being no, well, thank you. For thank you very time. much for, for having us on, on the yes, show. Thank you. It's been great <laughs> being here. I think we've got something for both of you. Okay. Just a little something to, to support us and wear out on, on race day, maybe. You want to get um, them? Oh, yay! Yeah. Yeah. Warrior on Wheels Foundation, Foundation Cap. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So Here excited for this. Thank you. So, I'm going to read right now while I link to the ad break. <laughs> cool, <laughs> Thank cool. you guys so much for staying tuned with us. Um, you are still here with us. So, Adams and Matthew. Make sure to stay tuned off the break because we have so much more. And let's have a look at what happened to Minister Allen and he, as he tried one of the buggies out. <laughs> Well, this is uh, Worry on Wheels, and uh, really what it is, it's about the cycle tour coming up. Uh, it's a major event, and I think what's happening here is really in inclusive cycling uh, for a major event where kids like, uh, you see this young guy behind me, he is going to have this great opportunity to travel around the peninsula with somebody <laughs> working pretty hard in front of him, uh, and a team really trying to trying to make uh, a huge experience and give him a massive opportunity. And I think that's really great of the event itself to be open to this kind of uh, inclusive operation. And of course, I think that's the, that is the whole uh, uh, kind of ethos of this event, uh, the Cape Town Cycle Tour, from the biggest time trial uh, or time race in the world to an inclusive uh, event like you can see because of what's happening right here with Warrior on Wheels and what they're doing. To, uh, the kind of charities that benefit from people getting out there on two, on two wheels and, and enjoying themselves. And, uh, and I think that's really exciting.